All right, you guys, I'm back. This time I'm going to show you guys the new fall paper pads. That's by Craftsmith. And this one is called Antique Street. Look at that. You know, Craftsmith be cut up, you guys. And they on sale this week for $6. And they also had a 25% off of your whole uh, order. So, yeah. So, I got this one. And let me see. Can I flip it for you guys? I don't know because I'm out of real angle. I don't think I could. But, you know, these are all the patterns, you guys. Right here. And you know. And it's, and it's some real... Flip it. I really want you guys to see it. These are the cutouts. And by me sitting down in this chair, I don't think I can flip it. But that's that pack. And it's called um, Antique Street. The next one I got is called Happy Fall. And I'm so glad I picked this one up because I'm making some fall tins. And this is how that one looks. And, of course, it's by our girl, Craftsmith. I don't know if she's a girl, but the maker is Craftsmith. And it is so, so pretty. And look at this deer right here, you guys. Look at that. That's cute. So, that's that pack. Then, the one that I love the most, <laughs> I guess because of the dark, the dark colors. And I don't have anything like this in my... Stash. And it's called Dark Floral. Oh my God. This is super duper gorgeous. So stinking cute. So, yep. So, those are the three paper pads that I, um, that I saw at my, uh, Michael's. And, you know, I think they had some more out. I don't know. But these are the ones that really caught my eye. And, um, uh, yeah, so I did see the Michaels, they just start putting up the Halloween. They have a whole, um, um, stand for the Halloween paper and all the Halloween goodies that come along with it. But for right now, I'm going to shop my stash because I know, um, I bought some stuff at the end of Halloween last year that, um, I need to use up. So, yeah. So I got that for Michaels. Then the last thing I got for Michaels when I was traveling with my hubby, I bought one of these containers here, you guys. You see it? It's this one with the lid. And the lid comes off. And then you have this tray here. Let's see. I don't know, could you see it? But it's this, the divider tray and the tray come out. You see the tray come out, and what I was using this this one this container for was all of my jewelry maker stuff. I put my scissors, my um, change that I got from um, Hobby Lobby a while back, and then um, all the little stuff that you need to make your jewelry maker, my glue, these six thousand, and then down here when you lift it up. I put these little containers here, these little Dollar Tree containers here. I put these in the bottom, and I also use this container here for the big um, loops to put those in there. So I put all that in there. So yeah. So you figure it out. Keys downstairs. Okay, so, um, yeah, so that's what I got. Oh, and I want to share with you guys my teens that I'm working on. You know, I, I like I said, I've been in and out with my husband, so they're not completed yet. So, these are B6 Inspired. They're not actually B6 size, but I want to use those, um, what are those journals? These here. This is what I use. I didn't cut them down. I just made my cover to cover these journals. So this is what I used. 
This is the first one I did, and I used that uh, Prima flower, uh, Prima um, paper stack. And this is one of the, I'm not finished because I haven't even put my um, closure. So I just made my books. I'm, you know, I'm on a semi line right now. I make all the books and then I go back and I start decorating all of them. So that's that booklet. And that's one, that, the other one. And one thing, one thing that I like about this paper pad is double sided. So when I laminate it, I don't have to, you know, uh, adhere to sheets of uh, paper together. So that's that one. Then I made this one here. So pretty. <laughs> this is the inside. <laughs> here's one booklet. And then here's another one. And like I said, I just cover the booklets. So that's that one. Then the next one is a faith one. And I use that uh, Simple Story paper pad. This is so pretty, you guys. When I say you get a lot of cutouts, you get a lot of cutouts in this paper pad. And it's 48 sheets. And I got this at a Hobby Lobby. Yeah. So I've, I've, I've been using this to make my faith journals. So, um... This is one of those single sheets that I get at Hobby Lobby. So I covered, this is the inside. I had to use uh, two uh, papers. This is the outside, one of the, one of the uh, sheets from the pad. And then this is the inside. And then I have four bands in here. So whoever buys this will have, you know, room to grow. So this is one booklet. booklet. And like I said, I'm not finished with them yet. And then this is the next booklet. So I did that one. Then I also just covered some, some of them for my coffee theme ones. So this is, I haven't put my washi tape. So this is one coffee. Coffee. <laughs> the little beans. I had to put my washi tape there. And then this is another coffee. Just wanted to show you guys what I've been working on. You know, my goal for 2017 was, you know, one of my goals was when I buy um, this scrapbook and stuff, I want to, you know, make, use it. Use, you know, use some projects, make some projects out of the paper pads. And I'm not going to say I'm able to use all these paper pads because, you know, I got a lot of them. And steady buying them. And don't need them, but they look so gorgeous. Then, you know, you always have room inside of your laminated pouches. So I went on and made some uh, bookmarks. I'm not finished with these either. So for each one of my 10 that I'm going to be selling, I'm going to have a bookmark, uh, a laminated bookmark um, for it. Yeah, so this is the front of them. And this is the back. So that's those. Then I made... These here, I just laminated these last night before we left to go back out of town. But I'm back at home today. It was a one day adventure. So this is the coffee thing one. That's this one. And then this is another um, prayer journal. You could use it for your prayer journal. Or war Bible. So yep. Yeah. So that's what I've been working on. That's what I plan to work on this weekend. Uh, I have a lot of projects going on. Oh, and I also did the fall one. I haven't cut it out the laminated stuff pouch yet. So this is going to be the, um, you see how you have room? So this is going to be the um, bookmark. And then this is the cover. Oh, I'm so sorry. So yeah, so I got a lot. And you know, guys, these tins are very, very addictive. I mean, once you start making them, I mean, why? You could just crank them out. Because I mean, you know, of course we have paper. Oh, I'm off guys. Then I also want to share with you guys what I did um, with those Dollar Tree um, uh, clips. I made these to hang on dangles. 
to hang on my journal, on, on my tins. I think I'm going to make this change a little shorter on this one. I like this length. So, yeah, I'm going to make it a little shorter. But, you know, only thing I did was add beads. This was already on, on the, um, the, 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 um, where are they? Girl, I got so much stuff down here. It's ridiculous. I don't know what they did with them. They're somewhere on this floor. But, yeah. So, I think these are so gorgeous. They're so easy to put together. All you got to do is add your little beads if you want to. Add another charm if you want to. And there you have it. It already come with the uh, lobster clip, clip thing. And you just clip it onto your uh, tin. You know? I think, yeah, this one right here goes for the elves. So, because it go like this. Let me show you guys how this one looks. Oh, okay. See? See how it looks? And it looks so pretty just hanging out there. And then I'm going to make, you know, put the band around it. I don't know if I'm going to put anything on the front of the covers because I really like the paper. And I don't, I, 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 you know, some things I just don't, I don't try to overdo it. Sometimes I mess it up when I do that. So, uh, yeah. So, some, I like certain things just clean and simple. All right, you guys, let me get off of here because I need to drink my coffee and um, get to working. Y'all have a nice weekend, and thank you guys for stopping by. And if you like the video, click on it. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. All right, you guys, have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.